My name is Nicole Donaghy. I'm a field organizer with Dakota Resource Council in Bismarck, North Dakota. I work on oil and gas issues in the Bakken oil fields. Dakota Resource Council is a, co a, a collective of farmers, ranchers, landowners, tribal citizens, and everyday people that organize to protect their livelihoods from the vast onslaught of oil and gas extraction in our, in our state. I work in communities in the western part of the state where oil and gas development spreads across the horizon. Hundreds of miles of well pads and other heavily industrialized infrastructure that's used for storage and extraction cover the once pristine prairie lands. We are in our third oil boom in North Dakota and we are only now seeing federal regulations rolled out to protect the environment. Sadly, as quickly as they've been written, they are being repealed without consideration of how the people who live with oil and gas will be impacted. After spending a 10 hour day in the Bakken, I often have issues with my asthma and usually have a sore throat after traveling through the communities that are riddled, riddled with gas flares and well pads. The EPA new source rule is beneficial for public health as much as environmental health. Oil and gas companies release millions of metric tons of methane into the air every year, as well as other dangerous gases and toxic chemicals such as benzene and other volatile organic compounds. Allowing oil and gas companies to continue to willfully pollute our air leaves the most vulnerable population at risk, those with asthma like myself, children and our elderly. This is preventable. Since the rule has gone into effect, there have been roughly 2,240 new, new or modified wells in North Dakota. If these rules are repealed, thousands of people in the communities that I work in will great, face a greater risk of respiratory diseases, asthma attacks, and a greater risk of cancer because they live in areas directly affected by emissions from oil and gas extraction. Methane poses a greater danger to our planet as it has 80 times the warming power of carbon dioxide, making it a major driver of climate disruption. Strong federal standards like the EPA's new source performance standards are essential for protecting the health of our communities and our lands. Members of Dakota Resource Council out of Bismarck, North Dakota, strongly urge the EPA not to delay, revise, or rescind these common sense rules. Cut methane.